Hello friends, this video on chemical coordination and integration part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now let us introduce the term hormones because that is going to be the main agenda of this lesson. So when we talk about endocrine system, we'll talk about the endocrine glands and we'll talk about the hormones. So let us see what are hormones. Now these are mostly secreted by endocrine glands. Well, I would not say that uh, hormones are only secreted by exo endocrine glands because uh, so any chemical which can perform the role that a hormone performs it can be called as a hormone. So it is not necessary that only endocrine glands can produce hormones. But yeah, most of the hormones are secreted by the endocrine glands. So they are carried by blood because as I said endocrine glands will put their secretion directly into the blood and then blood being the circulatory medium will carry it throughout the body. These are also known as chemical messengers. Messengers means somebody who carries message from one part to another. So like it is something like so these hormones are chemical messengers. Now why messengers because they are going to carry the information from one part of the body to another so that is why so this is let us suppose the source and this is the destination so it is the hormone is going to carry the information from one part to another so that is how it is a chemical messenger it acts on specific target organs so that specificity has to be understood or it has to be taken care of that a hormone let us suppose that this is the gland which produces a hormone which spreads throughout the body in the blood so it is present in the blood but it is not going to target all the organs of the body it is only going to target only some specific organs and they are known as the target organs for that hormone let us suppose this is say hormone a and it is supposed to attack only the uh, only those organs which can receive the hormone a so let us suppose this is one organ this is another organ so maybe this is the one whom it should target so in that case it will actually target this it will not bind to this organ so that means it doesn't actually act on all the organs it come across because the blood flows throughout the body so it will only target those cells which are its target cells so every hormone will have some specific target organs for example if we talk about growth maybe in case of growth it is it is that all the cells are maybe the target organs but it, it is not that only growth hormones are present in our body there are many other hormones which are present and they have got different roles so depending upon their function their target organs also differ so this is how it is so they get destroyed after their job is done so hormones they do not leave for a long time so once they are able to reach the cells once they are able to uh, give the information to the target organs that's all their job is done so they that is why they are called chemical messengers because they just carry the information from the source from the endocrine glands they uh, they get secreted and then they contain some information they reach their target cells give that information and that's all then they get destroyed so their job is done for example here you can see these two red lines actually show the flow of blood and here are different cells these three cells which you can see they represent different cells of the body now let us suppose that if there are hormones which are actually flowing through the blood so what would happen now when these hormones are flowing through the blood it will only attack the target cell for example for now let us say that this is the target cell let us just take an example so this is the cell which has got the receptor for this particular hormone but these two cells these cell is not a target cell okay this is not a target cell this is also not a target cell let us suppose this is the target cell and let us assume that this is the hormone secreting cell so it is actually producing hormone so let us say this is the hormone secreting hormone secreting cell so this cell or this it, this actually has the gland maybe so it is actually producing these hormones and these hormones will flow through the blood now as soon as it reaches this region it will actually see the receptors being present in this cell so these hormones will actually tend to stick to these receptors and that is how it will co convey the information from the source to the destination and the destination was the target cell. Now let us suppose if this is not a target cell in that case it will not have the receptors for this particular hormone. So in that case these hormones will just go on. So this cell will remain 
unimpacted due to the presence of these hormones in the blood. So the hormones will only attack the target cells and how will they recognize the target cells? By the presence of the receptors on the target cells. Now we will talk about hormone receptors later. So now I am not going into that detail but just understand that the job of hormone is to carry the information from the source to the destination. And how will they understand which is their destination? Their destination is the target cell and they will recognize their destination with the help of the receptors. If the receptors are present, that is their destination. And the hormones are generally produced in very small quantities. I mean in trace amounts. It is not that huge amounts of hormones are produced. And it is very important that they are present in the right quantity, neither more nor less. Because the over secretion of any type of hormone can cause various disorders. Similarly, secretion of any hormone in less than what is desired, that can also cause several disorders. So when we talk about the different types of hormones in the human body, we'll get to see that how the over secretion or less secretion of hormones can harm our body. So now in different animals, if you talk about the animal kingdom, the, in the lower animals, the mostly the invertebrates, they have got a very simple endocrine system and uh, their simple endocrine system produce very few hormones. So I mean, not too much of complication involved. So simple endocrine system producing few hormones. However, there are a large number of chemicals uh, which can also act as hormones because they also provide coordination within the body. So hormones are generally produced in trace amounts. So now instead of uh, looking at the endocrine system of the various uh, invertebrates, we will directly look into the endocrine system of human beings because for most of the lower animals, the endocrine system is not that advanced and they do not have that many hormones or that many endocrine glands. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.